Sports this in the his ass. Bringing another great edition of Black Ops on YouTube for you to best. What I do, bringing you part two how to bust a camper's ass. Because that's what you're going to be dealing with all summer long. Now, if you were listening to the last video, part one of this, you will know that I was talking about streaks. Now, the important thing is, is you want to use UAV. Uh, I mean, counter UAV. The counter, what, what counter UAV does is it basically takes away one of their peripherals. So they can no longer look at the minimap. And the more that you get of those, the more that you got them guessing and not even moving. So it's kind of like a paralyzing move. Call it like, you know, the Venom move. Then the next thing you want to do is once you have Hacker out and you got, you got Hacker running, then you can use Hacker... To see like all like there see I missed a setup right there now I knew that guy was gonna come back for the revenge kill now I'm calling my my Harrier now if I would have hit that flashbang they still would have been stunned I'd have been able to call that and went back up there so it was like sometimes you just hit some of those mistakes right there and here I was just pretty much pissed and um, that's the thing you know you try to have a perfect game in your mind you, you're thinking on the fly with your perfect game it's important to have those things going. And then this guy's miscellaneous, I don't know, appeared behind me. Whatever. So, the second perk you want to have is something that divides the map. Now, usually a camper is not going to be having flak jacket on. And the only thing that flak jacket pro, I mean, the only thing that can stop the fire is flak jacket pro. And you'll see me when I call in or somebody else calls in a... Um, the the Harrier strike or the the napalm. And the thing about the napalm is is that you can walk inside of the napalm when you're on your own teams, you know when your team's doing or or you know that yeah, that's right when your teammates when your teammates have it, but when you use it, basically it it cuts the map in which way you want. So like if you know you got hacker on. And you see these people camping with claymores or sensors or whatever it is, and you're running with a jammer, and you got that streak, use it to cut part of that map off. So now you know the reinforcements can't get to their friends that are camping. So that's when you want to use that. So you got counter UAV, you lay down, you lay down the strike, and you, you want to disrupt them from camping. That's the whole purpose of having that setup. And then the last thing is the most important thing is having the streak number seven for a chopper. Now, what does this do in, in two parts for you? See, now watch this. Now, see how I run in the fire? I know that I know the enemy can't use the, the fire. They can't run into the fire. So I use it as cover. I run right into it. And that's what I was trying to tell you. You can use that to your advantage when you're running with a team and they have it on your team. Now, the last streak I wanted to talk about when you're trying to bust campers out of their situation is having the streak number seven chopper gunner this is how it works in twofold now here i see now that i jam that that claymore and there you go he knew i was see right there now you knew the jammer's coming now i know the guy was coming back for revenge i lay down there and look at that now it cuts the map in half i know there's only one way they can come up through the back I'm sitting here, and I know if they're going to come right for revenge kill or another teammate comes up, they're going to come right in that window, and I'll kill them. So, now, look at this. See, so set it right up on the stairs. You know they're not going to look. They're always running with their head down. You catch them every single time. Revenge kill. So, the the third one was a seven-kill streak with the helicopter. Now, here, I didn't understand. Maybe because the guy laid the claymore too quick, and I didn't see it. But, I don't know. I had hacker out. I should have seen that, but I didn't. He must have laid it at an angle, and I didn't catch it. But so the helicopter, seven kill streak, chopper gunner. What this does in twofold: one, it, if you are running hack, hacker, and they try to change up their game on you, and you throw out that chopper, what it does, it puts so much sound on the map, it muffs your footsteps. Two, a lot of times, you know, nobody's gonna take the time to shoot down the the chopper because they're camping inside of a building so that's that that thing and it in three it hovers around for a long time and cock blocks anybody on the other team if they have uh, a helicopter you know what i mean so it stays up for a while and 
you know, like I said, you're going to run into people that run that camping, claymore, turret, uh, claymore, the counter, if you don't know, go back to the last video of the part one of this, and that is to run ghost, whatever, sleight of hand, you, you can mix and match it up in the hacker with the jammer. You want to run the hacker with the jammer, because the jammer and the hacker, um, even when you lay down, the, when you see their equipment, here's the plus to it. Here's the disadvantage of it. You can run, you can run flak jacket with ninja, and they don't hear your feet, but you run into their equipment. And if they're running uh, sensor, then you're still gonna get seen, and it doesn't really matter. The best thing is to run the hacker with the with the jammer, because then you'll see what they got, and then you jam them. And if they still hear your foot, they're not gonna be able to find which. They're not gonna know if it's their teammates or the enemy so if you run up, up in their position then you're gonna um you're pretty much gonna catch them on surprise so that's that's what you, that's what's going on this spring and i mean basically it's summertime so that's what this is what you're gonna see in abundance now so don't get frustrated about campers you just have to have you know i mean it's kind of like an unwritten rule if people are going to play like that and camp and use ghost then you gotta fight fire with fire you have to put on ghost you have to um, I mean the way I do is I use ghost silence weapon um, hacker and jammer so you know like I said you know <laughs> first thing these guys want to do is they you know like um, people say is like either two things they either, they either they come out rushing or they don't leave their spawn and if you come out and you they're not rushing you then obviously they're camping in their spawn so that if they're camping in their spawn nine times out of ten they're gonna be using some type of equipment now but like I said the other part the other great part about being a camper buster with this rushing kit that way you could rush into their situation I mean rush into their camping situation is the fact that you can reuse the jammer. You can lay the jammer down and then go find another guy and kill him, pick it up, and keep doing it. They can they can only camp in one spot, lay the claymore down, and then once they're dead, they gotta find another spot. And once you start knowing all their spots in the map, it's pretty much a wrap for them. What do they got left? Oh get knife. So uh, that's that's how you bust out camp. So if you're having a frustrating time. And another thing too, if you're not doing 1.0 and above, it's obvious what you're doing is not working. Drop the high kill streaks. Drop ghosts. Drop. I mean, if you're busting your head trying to be a badass and run around with lightweight and uh, gas mask and all this other bullshit, and it's just not working. It's not working. I mean, you're not gonna go into a fight and keep getting your face punched in like a dumbass. So if it's not working for you, change up your skills. I mean, you, this the point. That's the point why you prestige in this game is to go through life cycles of gaming to understand, like, okay, this is the setup I have to use. These are the combinations I have to use. This is what I'm running up against. You know, and the stuff that I'm giving you is all based on solo gameplay. I don't go in and Twitter out and, hey, I need some people to game with me, or I don't call everybody to come help me. No, I try to figure out how to do it on my own first, so then when I go with my friends, we even are a badder, we're even a badass team above that. So I hope this is helpful for you. It's your boy Fizz. Peace. Until next time, I'm out.